the Fox Television Center in Los Angeles. This is the Fox 11 10 o'clock news. It's a first for the LAPD. It was uh, just a very good day for the department, for law enforcement. The technology that made tracking down a murder suspect easy. LAPD Chief William Bratton says he wants to expand a new program that puts electronic ankle bracelets on the most violent gang members to monitor their activity and prevent crimes. Chris Blatchford reports on how this new crime-fighting technique led to the arrest of the suspects and the killing of a 20-year-old college student. No les puedo explicar cuál es mi dolor. Maria Robles says she can't begin to tell us about the pain. Her daughter, Nelly Hernandez, a Santa Monica college student, was killed four weeks ago in a drive-by shooting while standing on a Wilshire area sidewalk in broad daylight. Criminals are some of the stupidest people in the world. And Chief right, William Bratton says player, one of seven Mara Salvatrucha gang the members the involved was a violence right parone parolee wearing an electronic monitoring ankle bracelet just like this one. Here at this LAPD facility, even before the 911 call came in, officers tracked the parolee with this GPS system. You can see his tracks. Within an hour, the blue dots led cops to a house in Compton. The getaway car was parked out front. Detectives arrested seven gang members inside and found other incriminating evidence as well. Chief Bratton likes the bracelets. These people are going to become pariahs even among the gangs because the gang members aren't going to want to be with them because there's going to be a recognition that uh, we are basically tracking these people all the time. Now there are only 20 electronic monitoring bracelets in service on gang member parolees in L.A. County. Bratton says more bracelets will mean fewer families like this one will have to suffer. One of the detectives on the case noted that these people thought they got away with murder. They didn't. In downtown Los Angeles, Chris Blatchford, Fox 11 News.